Hello, and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. We are picking up where we left off in the last video, booting up our server, and we're going to do updates and poke around the interface. Let's get started. When you first open the web interface, you may get a security warning, and that's just because you've got a self-signed certificate. Go ahead and continue through that, and we get to our login prompt. Username is root, and the password is what you entered during install. Click OK to dismiss the warning about no subscription and then we can go ahead and get started with things. We're going to go on down to support and it just verifies that we have no support subscription. Moving to options, we can see different things about our machine. And then going to our node and updates. We can refresh to make sure we have all the updates listed. And once this process finishes, we can go ahead and start the update process. We're going to fly through the updates and when we get done with this piece, we will be ready to start using our brand new Proxmox VE server. We've closed the upgrade window. It warns about no valid subscription. We can refresh to make sure we've got all the updates installed. And once this reloads, it does in fact show that we have no, uh, no remaining updates. We've returned to the command prompt of our Proxmox VE server, login as root and we're going to go ahead and shut the machine down. And that, my viewers, will bring us to the end of another Practical IT video. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, and leave comments down below, and be sure to stay tuned for future episodes in the Proxmox series. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.